So this all dates back to the revelation that Sky News made back in August last year that the then head of recruitment in the RAF had resigned in protest at what sources told me was deemed to be an unlawful order, effectively to pause the pushing of recruits onto training courses if they were white men in favour of fast-tracking ethnic minority individuals and female candidates. As part of this bid, this well-intentioned bid by the head of the RAF to improve diversity statistics in his force. Now, after that revelation, an inquiry was launched by the RAF it's being led by an army officer uh, into the circumstances behind the resignation of Group Captain Elizabeth Nicholl. And emails that I have seen um, have been provided to this inquiry, and they really paint a picture of the culture inside that recruitment team historically, back in 2021, 2020, 2020, 2021, under a different leader, still under the leadership, of course, overall, of Air Chief Marshal Sir Mike Wigston. But these emails reveal how there was incredible pressure being put on recruitment officers to fast track, to speed up the flow of ethnic minorities and female to hit, hit these diversity targets. They were under pressure to increase the flow of women up to 20% of intake and the flow of ethnic minorities up to 10%. And one of these emails I can read to you, it was sent from a squadron leader to a sergeant. We're not revealing the names of these middle management officers that were involved in all of this. But, it, but this email talks about how um, there was a, a heavy presence of white males on... Um, on these boarding courses. A, a selection board is when you get um, a recruit uh, and you, 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 you channel them into their initial training where they learn certain trades and professions. And um, in this email, it says how um, the boards recently have pre been predominantly white male heavy. If we don't have enough BAME, so black, Asian and minority ethnic and female to boost them, then we need to make the decision to pause boarding and see seek more BAME and female from the recruitment force. It goes on to say, I don't really need to see loads of useless white male pilots. Let's get, a, get as focused as possible. I'm more than happy to reduce boarding if needed to have a balanced BAME female male board. And a second email that I've seen also says that they've actually, that they'd actually around that time, January 2021, cancelled two boards because they were only white male candidates on board. Now, these boards are important because it's all about ensuring the flow of recruits into different trades throughout the RAF, which is fundamental to the operational capability of the Air Force. Now, the head of the Air Force has consistently insisted that his recruitment drive did not impact operational output, did not discriminate against white men. He has admitted that mistakes were made historically, but others within defence do believe that actually uh, unlawful practices were taking place at that time.